Despite the recent stock sell-off, our next guest isn't too concerned and thinks the markets have been long overdue for a correction. He says now is the time to buy into some major artificial intelligence names. Let's bring in Keith Fitzgerald, principal of the Fitzgerald Group. Keith, thanks for being here. Uh, so where within AI do you think there's opportunity amid this pullback? Well, that's an interesting question because there's clearly lots of opportunity. For me, this is do you want to buy the needle or the haystack time? I'm still going to stick with the haystack. So it's the AMDs and the NVIDIAs of the world because you're talking about 70, 80, 90 percent market share in the GPU and CPU market. So you've said that the markets were long overdue for a pullback. At these levels, though, do you think there is still more downside? Would you wait to be putting money to work or do you think that now is kind of an appropriate floor for uh, further upside from here? Well, you know, of course, uh, trading being the way it is, the moment I say there's a floor, it's going to go to zero tomorrow. So, you know, no, I, I don't think there's a floor in. I think that the Middle East has clearly got the potential to royal markets. So this is where you change your tactics. This is maybe where you slow down your buying, where you be a little more careful about how you buy, when you buy. But the fact that is you want to continue to play to win because that's how you actually do win. Let, let me ask you about Apple and your hypothesis that the developers conference that is coming along, I believe it is May or early June could be a 2007 moment for this company, i.e. the moment when the iPhone uh, was introduced. Why do you say that and what will be the cause or the catalyst for that iPhone moment? Thank you for asking, Tyler. So I think that what we're doing to find out is that Apple is, A, a lot farther along in the AI space than people realize it. And I see that anecdotally by the way its speech recognition works, by how it processes things. We have both Apple and uh, Microsoft equipment in our offices. The Apple stuff is routinely faster, better, and more accurate than the Microsoft AI. But the critical piece for me is I think we may learn, if I'm correct in my hypothesis, that Apple actually puts AI on board. The big jump is going to be that it doesn't have to go to the web. It doesn't have to get to generative engines. So I think the operating system could see something substantially deeper and burrowed in farther that's going to be beneficial for Apple. So I will then be able to communicate with my computer, with my iPhone, in a way that might be a quantum leap forward from what I'm accustomed to now? That's kind of what I think is coming. You know, again, if you remember how Steve Jobs released the iPhone, he was very coy about it. He said, do you want something that's going to do X, Y, and Z? And everybody said, oh, my goodness. And then, boom, there it was. That's very much Apple's MO. And I just am hearing all the familiar shades, all the tech experts, all the anecdotal evidence leads me to believe that we could be on the cusp of that. Mm -hmm.